So this is episode one of My Dear Friend Nokotan. I don't really know too much about this anime other than what was written in the summary and that it's more comedy based. Uh, I will have the first episode up for free on Patreon if you want to check out the full length version of it. And yeah, let's just get started. Oh my god, she knows we're watching her. Oh my god, dude. That 3D motto. It looks like, in terms of like the 3D motto, definitely looks a lot more like the ones that are used in games. Which, I've been really- uh, there's another one that I've been watching, Girls Band Cry, where like the animation, the 3D animation looks a lot more like how it would be in games. And I've always thought that that's what they should be. I'm gonna say if that if there isn't going to be an episode where they wrestle a deer, I'm gonna be very disappointed. You dear. <laughs> oh my god, the title page. <laughs> Dude, it's cold enough to have like a wet, uh, to have like an ice spot, and also like your breath is all, you know, you can see your own breath, and you guys are just walking like this in these clothes. Wow. She's the perfect girl. Of course, she's the president of the student council. Who's that girl with the red hair? <laughs> oh, oh, according to Keikoku, huh? What is the secret? Wild Beast of Tokyo Hino. Uh oh, you shouldn't be saying that. Up until this- oh my god. <laughs> I'm surprised she's able to hang like that without getting- Well, I guess maybe it's because of the antlers. <laughs> In the first of- <laughs> Detective Conan. But how'd she get up there in the first- I suppose she jumped up, huh? <laughs> Wait, there are hy hyenas here? <laughs> yeah! You want a piece of me? Let's go! She has the high ground! Well, technically the birds have the high ground, but in terms of the hyenas... Oh, you gotta help her at this point. But as an honor student, can you leave behind a student? You're gonna leave me here. Oh, guilt tripping her. There are vultures here? <laughs> See, I was wondering, alright. <laughs> Damn, really guilt tripping her so bad. Wow! Oh, Miss Delinquent. She can just smell it on you. Compose womanly appearance. Wow, she can smell the delinquent on you. Didn't realize there's a scent. <laughs> yeah, time to douse yourself in a lot of perfume. This school is very red. Reddish brownish? More red than brown, but like... Alright, new student. I haven't written uh, the main girl's name yet. <laughs> and your seat is- the seat next to you is empty too? You're- you're a duct. Sideways. Damn, dude, that's the deer chant right there. <laughs> Through the reba! 
car and everything. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that man. That boy's nose is also ducked. If she had that strain, she could have just gone herself off of the fucking electricity pole. She wasn't electrocuted when she was touching both. <laughs> Class is just in her. <laughs> they have that teacher. Professional. You're the normal one in this class, huh? Of course. Miss Delinquent. Torako Koshi. No, you're laying your guard down. Miss Delinquent. <laughs> Fell into a trap card, dude. That's what freaks everybody out? Oh, the deers are here. Must be her parents. Hmm, <laughs> Yankee <laughs> on san They just believe her like that? Yo, what the hell? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Her horns. Can we just start class, please? <laughs> Everybody is like surrounding. Rude. <laughs> a real deer, dude. Wow, not only is she a delinquent, she's a virgin! I think she already has. At least for your classroom. Dear crackers, dude. What a gif. There's theories as to why. <laughs> so it's kind of like Damn dude, really is mouth-watering On her shoe and everything How's there a rainbow? There's no sun Oh, oh well she did learn to walk sideways Damn, she's eating through the- she's eating through the band and everything. It would just regrow. Is this- Well, she likes the deer crackers, so like- Oh, oh. <laughs> Here's the other horde. We can have them together. <laughs> oh! Oh, it just comes right back on. I guess it's magnetic. Me equals venison. <laughs> the hunters. <laughs> oh my god. Even more deer crackers. <laughs> Very interesting that, uh... We just have like a whole ass pink door for the uh, for the girls' bathroom. Why is that horn look very malleable? What's wrong about her being a virgin? Shut up! Kind of sucks that, like, if you're wanting to, like, have a new identity and all that, and, like, the, your passes comes up, it's just like, <laughs> you're fucked. 
I mean, honestly, at this point, you might as well just take up the identity of virgin instead of delinquent. <laughs> Your horns are a joke. Is that what she said? No, 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 Gotan. There is a market for this. All right, there is a market for this. <laughs> the world's smallest violin is being played right now. <laughs> My light just went out. <laughs> Does that mean she's uh, head empty inside? Literally no brain? <laughs> Just the murder scene inside here. <laughs> Still trying to call for duck. Where'd her horn go? Is that on the floor? Oh! Oh, so it moved up and that's caused the blood? Really feels like her parents are just watching her. <laughs> the pool of blood is still there. <laughs> also, does that mean that you like grab their horn and like just threw it back to the side? Well, you just kind of get yourself killed and then haunt her afterwards, it feels like. An unmistakable tsundere. <laughs> she got stuck in the webs. The Deer Club! RIP. Also, she's in the student council, so like... I feel like this is like a fucking Wii music here. <laughs> like, waiting in a lobby. Or it's a loading screen. <laughs> it just restarted! Really getting her in it. <laughs> Sucker, dude. That's how you get tsundere's, dude. You fucking compliment them. What do you do here in this- <laughs> Koshi's the main- mainly taking- <laughs> Yeah, she's the president now. Made for it. Decision made for you. Yeah, but the activity is to take care of deers. <laughs> She's the deer. It all makes sense. This is a fucking scam, bro. This is a con. This is a... This is a con. What? <laughs> and it's definitely accepted. This is such a lax school, the, the fact that they're just... I feel like Nokaton's just got some fucking deer magic that just allows everybody to just agree with her. Fill the entire room up of the, with deer crackers, then. To brush her? <laughs> okay, your antlers are like very hard. Like the fact that you're just. <laughs> Oh. Oh shit, dude. Even her. Oh my god, dude. Her nails are just. <laughs> Damn, dude. Even the narrator was spooked. Oh my god, the way it. <laughs> Yo, it's just deers for the ending? Hell yeah, dude. I hope we get to learn a lot about different types of deers. Anyways, the way that they make those crackers wiggle. Keeps making me think about them. Makes me think that they're pancakes or something. I like that it moved out of the way though. Oh, is this the making of deer crackers? By the way, the thing that I was talking about for deer crackers is that uh, it really feels like uh, those little bread that you have for um, when you get the Eucharist in, in church and stuff. I would presume that's kind of this. Like, it's, since they say it's tasteless, that's like the only other thing that I know is tasteless. The bread of Jesus. <laughs> Wow, and since it's like for deers, they're like the packaging is just like the little stripes on it, since it doesn't really matter, right? You're supposed to give it to them. 
Doesn't really matter too much on like the germs and whatnot. Oh, look at them. Yakking out here. So many of them. Oh, that's it. That's the end. Alright. <laughs> I did. I um I, I will say uh the first episode certainly is quite absurd, but I can definitely see where like the humor is coming in. Um I, I will say that I'm not really fond currently. I'm not really fond of uh Nokotan, but I think that's primarily because of the way of her voices. Doesn't really uh doesn't really vibe with me, but if that's uh but like if that's the case for Nokotan, it's it'll probably just be something that I'll get used to and then I won't talk about it anymore. Uh there is was one part that I do wonder, since they've made the whole uh was it they, they made the whole Dark Soul uh reference and whatnot, like you dear. <laughs> I thought, uh, the first thing I thought of when they showed us this with her hanging, uh, on the electricity pole and all that, it sort of reminded me of, uh, what is it? Reminded me of Persona 4, <laughs> where, like, in one of, like, your first, I think, like, on your first day, I believe, your first day or your second day, I can't remember, there was, like, a, uh, uh, supposedly a suicide, right, of somebody hanging on the electricity pole. And so when I was just like, oh, that reminds me of Persona 4. And then, but then uh, Koshitan says, oh, a, a suicidal thing on the first day? What the hell, right? And so that's kind of what I was thinking about. And if it was, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I am interested to see this character. Uh, I presume she maybe has a crush or something on Koshitan. And so she's a little upset that no, no, no Kotan is taking the attention away from her who knows or maybe she likes nokotan who knows who knows but uh, uh again a very absurd not very but it's an absurd type of comedy so far and it's kind of like in this world of like uh people who are <laughs> absurd and koshi is the normal person which is typical of these type of things right you gotta have that one normal person to be like what the fuck is going on because they have to be like the audience overall it's like the first episode mm, i think it's uh I think it's all right. Uh, I will be, I am interested to see the rest of the character cast and see how all of that plays into the comedy and everything. So yeah, until then, I will, uh, I'm out of here actually. So uh, bye. <laughs>